Welcome back to my cave once again, humans, for another episode of Forge and Shadow Torch playthrough. All right. Okay, so what do we have to do next? Ray, let's sync maps. I'm at the underwater base. Where is that mask you mentioned? The oxygen mask, the latest underwater rebreather device. I've marked its exact location on the map. The Iron Dogs don't need to breathe, so why does the underwater base have something like this? Ho-ho! Because it's from the great Ferdizan inventor, Urso! With it, you have free access to the sewers, the underground lake, and even the outer sea. <laughs> no wonder the Iron Dogs took them all away. Good thing I was smart enough and included a tracking device. <laughs> you know, while doing this playthrough, I have to wonder if I've been doing more to hurt this game than help it. I mean, I noticed and what do we got here? Oh right, more health points! It's just that I noticed that a lot of times I keep mentioning the negative things about this game. And I sometimes feel like I mention those more than I mention the positive things. Even though I keep saying that they don't affect the game for me, which they don't, I still bring them up a lot. But you know what? Not today. I want to keep on the positive side. Especially since I really like this game and I've been trying to get more attention to this game, but... So far, this game still seems obscure. There's still not that much artwork on Fur Affinity of this game. Alright. See that whip? It can take down those barriers. Andy! I mean, the combat is really good! I keep saying once you get used to it, but no, it, it means just... It doesn't really take long to get used to it at all. And the whip, the, the whip is just seriously fun. And yet part of me actually kind of likes the other weapons too. I don't know. One thing I like about the other weapons is that there's more oomph to them. The whip is meant to be a quick weapon. It doesn't have as much oomph as the other weapons. It's just really fast, really long ranged, and... Even then, it's still fun to use. Alright. Let's see what kind of bad guys this level has. And I must say, even with some of the hiccups, the graphics in this game are really good. I just, it's so rare to see someone put this much effort. What do we got here? Cutscene? No one's talking. But it's just so rare to see someone put this much effort into... What are you doing? Oh, you seemed like you were having so much fun, so I came to cheer you on. There's a tough hexapod. Hmm. New model? Back in our day... We never saw iron dogs that could enter water. Hmm. Even the underwater areas are guarded. The Legion has really grown in strength over the years. You'll take them down, however many there are. As I was saying, it's just so rare to see someone do this high detail stuff for a furry game. And yes, I'm going to keep calling this a furry game. I am dead convinced the creators are furries. Maybe it's just all the fur lingo. Fursos, furtizens, and whatnot. And I've always found it funny. I still do. And thankfully, the game isn't too in your face about it either. It just brings it up enough to keep you realizing these guys are talking animals. I, I, and I admire the fact that the game doesn't want to take itself too seriously because I don't like games that take themselves too seriously. Being honest. 
I just, I like whimsy. That might be a big reason why I like anthropomorphic animal characters so much. And even mundane ones. And despite being a very common animal, Rayton is just awesome. He doesn't have much personality, but nope, nope, that's negativity. Bad bail! Bad! Oh, well, right. I guess I shouldn't be too positive. I should still criticize when when it's necessary. But still, this game is just really good. And I'd love to see this game get more attention. Even the underwater sections are pretty fun. All right, what do we got here? Oh, some of those pokey things. Go up, get some breath. There's just something cozy about those holes. Wait, what the? Huh, for some reason I noticed the air meter didn't appear before. No. Oh, well. All right, another charging station. I want to see if it bugs out. Is it going to bug out? Nah, maybe next time. Like it better when it bugs out. I've seen it bug out with the brush and with the shower on. And, oh boy, what is that? Ow! Hey! That's it, punk! Now you're gonna get it! Alright. Want some of this? Take that! I could have just blown him off the stage. Why do I... Why am I not doing that? I really should use the blower more often, but I don't. I wonder if it's better that they make you start a puzzle over than have you bounce around in the lasers and take more damage. Hmm, come to think of it, I could see the benefits of having you start over a simple puzzle. It's not like you have to start over a long marathon stage. Oh, dang it. See, just back at the beginning of this particular laser section. Nothing wrong with that. Alright. Coinage! Wait, what am I... More coins? Yep, more coins! And another one of these charging stations. This seems like a very dangerous spot to have one, though. Come on, mess up. Ah! Okay, maybe next time. I have not caught the rain shower thingy to malfunction yet. I know I kind of slurred my words there, but eh, I kind of do these in one take. I know I mentioned that before, and I know I mentioned a lot of things before, and I should really stop mentioning things I've mentioned before. Try saying that five times fast. Hmm, not ready to use the elevator just yet. Let's see what's in here. Wait. No, 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 no. I'm going the wrong way. I've been here before. This is the armory. But I still want to beat up the samurai. Heh. <laughs> I remember when those dudes were tough. Not anymore. Now, back into the underwater base. And whoa, what the heck happened? You know, some of these graphical glitches are actually kind of cool. Hmm, better heal before I try to go up there. Come on, malfunction, malfunction. Gah! Come on, one of these days, it's gonna have to malfunction. Okay, it looks like we got a big group of enemies to fight. Sword guys are pretty easy. Oh, these axe guys are tougher. Maybe I should use an uppercut. Or a ground pound work. Dang it! Got me on the backswing. Booyah! Oh, there's more. <laughs> Couldn't hit me that time. 
What am I doing? Yeah, I'm winging it right now. You know, the drill can be used as a set of wings, can't it? I don't know why, I just really like ground pounds. Dang. There's a lot of stuff going on. Execution. I mean, step on the brakes, guys. Nah, who cares? I can take it. Nice. I just need to get a drink. No, oh, no, actually, I'm in good terms so far, so let's use the baton. Dang it. I had something cool going on. Hey, be nice. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, if I didn't get to do some awesome deflection attacks, unfortunately. So, oh well. At least we can avoid the swirly thing. Dang, my dialogue is lame. Mm hmm. Looks like that execution happened without the zoom in effect. Another graphical glitch, I guess. Again, there's quite a lot of these, but they're kind of amusing. But anyway, time to see what's in the next area. Oh-ho! Okay. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Hmm. Alright, I'll get to that in a little bit. You again. This time, you have reason to let me go. Tell me. If you hurt me this time, it means there was no point in you letting me go last time. Let it be pointless, then. I get up at 7 every morning and iron my tie. I then go to the energy station to get a full 8-hour charge and pick up a 4-hour temporary battery. I start work at 8 o'clock, I must check, inspect, and monitor the mission roster for 1,000 soldiers every day. Enough talking. To Ferguson's, we are the enemy, the Iron Dogs. To the heads of the Legion, however, we are mere cogs in the wheel, churning out work. Patrolling and writing reports both consume a lot of power. We must stay at our posts, even if we are low on battery or have rusty components. You can shut up now. All right. Before I shut up, though, I will repeat this one more time. Civilized Ferdison, please allow me to leave in a fitting manner. Well, that dialogue took long enough. Also, did Raiden actually have any reason to let him go? Come to think of it, was there any reason for that dialogue in general? There's nothing even in here. Maybe it'll come up later in the story. Alright, back to the task at hand. Hmm, I wonder how I get down there. Suppose I should find a switch or something. It, that's what, that's kind of the problem of just trying to talk about the game. A lot of times you're just explaining what's going on and that's kind of on the nose. That's why I tend to discuss this game and other games and whatnot. And I don't know why, but why don't I talk about the book I'm doing a swap with? The book I'm doing a swap with mentions Wombles a lot. You know what those are? I, I, I'm not that familiar with the Womble franchise. They kind of look like fluffy sheep moles. Almost tempted to draw a few because, I don't know, maybe they're growing on me. Hmm. Though the story is a little too serious to imagine the characters as Wombles. No, the story I'm reading isn't about Wombles, obviously. It just mentions them quite a bit. I think I said something like, it's like Ready Player One. Well, at least with the whole taking place in a video game aspect. The story really isn't like, wait, 
Should I really be disclosing that? Eh, maybe I should. I kind of don't want to go too much into the details of that book out of respect for the person I'm doing a swap with. Hmm. So, why don't I comment on those cozy areas? I don't know why, they just... I've never really been claustrophobic. In fact, small spaces can be pretty cozy, and I kind of like that. Like... I used to go to this nursing home for physical therapy, and they'd allow me to use the gym there. There was a big shower and a little shower in the bathroom, and they'd also let me use those, too. Normally, I went with the small shower, because, I eh, no, I like the coziness, plus I think the bigger shower might be more desirable for most people. It was never an issue. No one ever got to take a shower with me or anything. Just, eh. No one ever got to take a shower with me. You have any idea how wrong that sounds? Alright. Oh, come on! Malfunction! Wow, I feel like I'm pretty far in the game and I still got several abilities and an item yet to get. Hmm. Wonder how big this game is. I paid thirty dollars for it, so it's gotta be quite lengthy. Not massive, but hmm. I just I'm just surprised that this only costs thirty dollars. Cause this almost feels like a forty dollar game. Maybe fifty, but that might be stretching it. But $30, that's, that's a really good price for this. Okay, that was cool. Right into the lasers. And just the amount of ways you can kill your enemies, it, with a little creativity, it can, it can be a blast killing enemies in cool ways. And open the door. Ugh. Of course I gotta dodge that dildo. Why do I like calling things dildo? That's like my go-to insult these days. Hmm. And... Execution! Alright, now open the door. Booyah! And there... This took me to a place I'd already been. Let's try this place instead. Coinage. Hmm. Ah, of course it wouldn't be that easy. There's always a catch, isn't there? Okay, so I can grapple that spider bot. The samurai is not as easy to do so. So, well, now I got nothing to grapple him with. Or nothing to throw at him. Guess I'll have to beat him the old-fashioned way. With all three items. A booyah! Hey. I don't think I even stunned him, did I? Well, I guess I'll have to beat him the hard way. Dang it! He's a tough Mother Hubbard. Ah, come on! I already abused the dough I missed last time, so... Let's just... Come on, finish him off. Dang, he's resilient. Can you imagine this guy in a fighting game? I wonder how high tier he'd be. He's got some fighting game-ish moves anyway. Yeah, come on. Come on, baby. Execution! Woo! Yeah! Hmm. Okay, I guess... I'm going to go back up here. Dodge the lasers. That's 
pretty clever, honestly. There's quite a few clever puzzles in this game. Alright. Doesn't hurt to check on the map, just to know where you need to go. Okay, da -da -da. Ugh! Waiting. Waiting for something funny to happen. Hmm. Alright. <laughs> Gotta work on that trigger finger, don't ya? Well, it's too late for that now. Looks like that guy's a little bit on point. But only a little. <laughs> okay, that's fun. Of course, it doesn't do damage. Well, this thing sucks as well as blows. But that was a bad idea, wasn't it? <laughs> Keep away! <laughs> There we go. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, that, that, I don't know why. There's just just doing that. That there's something legitimately fun about watching him try and run against your wind torrent. Execution. All right. In the next area. Oh, I guess I need the whip. Time to go all Simon Belmont. Uh, come on, really? Maybe I need to go all... Uh, maybe I need to go all Richter Belmont. Did I mention that th the main character of my book is named Richter? Though usually he's called Ricky. His name's Ricky Mason, but his real name is Richter. Richter as in the Richter scale. Because he's very heavy, insinuating he's so heavy to create earthquakes, which the Richter scale measures. Or was that the seismograph? No, the seismograph measures earthquakes. The Richter scale is the velocity of an earthquake. The scale in which the velocity of an earthquake is measured by. Alright... Need to repair again. Still not malfunctioning. Doesn't happen that often. I don't wish it would. I had it happen once in part three. I don't get it to happen very often. Oh boy, and then we got this big Leviathan. And, oh boy. Okay. Got some air. Hey! <sighs> you might need some eye drops for that red eye. Alright, get more air. Swimming along, swimming along. I don't know any words. I mean, I don't know any songs about swimming along. Well, I could always do the Finding Nemo one. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. What do we do? We swim. And I don't remember how the rest of it goes. Do I want to remember how the rest of it goes? Hmm. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. What do we do? We swim. Hmm. So wait, he can't blast through those spinning grates? Looks like he should be able to. Well, that guy's on my plane, so he has no problem. Alright. Dang, this place is kind of big. Where do I need to go, anyway? 
Ooh, a teleport station. All right. Well, that makes for some easy access back home. I do kind of wish there were more of those in the game. I remember when I used to like Castlevania. I had all the DS games, and the transporting and teleporting in that game was really good because there were lots of teleport stations, so you could get around easily. It's not a huge complaint, though I kind of wish they did. Alright. Through here. You can't really swim with anything but the drill. Oh, this is a big area. Hmm. Where should I go? Up here? Alright. Now let's see. Okay, some money. And a door I can't go through. Well, that was a waste of a minute. Let's try another path. Okay. Have I been here? Yeah, I've been here. So, another diversion that took me nowhere I haven't been. Alright, let's try... Okay. Let's try going through here. I mean, there's got to be a reason to come here. Or maybe I'm just too early in the game. Come on, let's see. Alright, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. No, I was here too! Ay, 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 ay. Okay. That grate in the floor. I can't do anything to that. Guess I need an ability. Hmm. Okay. What are you doing? Okay. Oh, see that? He did some hover action there. All right, wait. Time to get back. On track. Hmm. Oh. Okay, let's see here. Wait. Ah, okay. Alright. Hmm. Oh! There's an area I haven't been in. Okay. Here, pass that thing. <laughs> All right, hey, I'm back here. Hmm. I go back through that. Lost all my progress. And again, I didn't really come across anything new. But for some reason, I am not satisfied. There was that one area I didn't quite complete yet, and dang it, I need to complete it! My curiosity cannot go unsatisfied! Wait, what the? That was weird. Hmm. So what was the prize I was even trying to collect? I don't even remember. I think I saw an SP canister? The blue one? Hmm. Let's keep swimming, just keep swimming. What do we do? We swim. Uh, I'm gonna keep getting that stuck in my head now. Alright. That thing. Wait. Yep. SP Essence. And now I got a fourth bar to that. That's gonna come in handy dandy. Alright. Am I supposed to be losing life right now? Oh yeah, I am losing life. 
Another grade I can't destroy. Get some air! <laughs> Looks like I still got the SP canister. So, all right. Is there any? Yeah, I think I'm done with that area. All right, let's keep moving on. Whoa! This guy has a spear. I think. No, it's an axe. Weird. From one angle, it looks like a spear. Hmm. You know, one thing I have to say, it's kind of cool that your character gets some unorthodox weapons. You know, instead of a sword all the time, he gets a fist, a drill, and a whip. How often do you see those kind of weapons? Well, they do exist. With whips, there is the obvious one, the Belmont Clan. With the, well, there's also Indiana Jones. With the drill, there's that uh, drill dozer girl from, uh, well, that wasn't a drill, that was a robot with drills, but, hmm. What about an actual drill, though? Come to think of it, I don't remember. Meh, let me get back to you on that one. Oh boy, out of breath again, and I'm not going to keep doing the whole Sonic the Hedgehog thing. Uh... Ah, man! Ay, 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 ay. Alright, no more fooling around. I feel like I gotta get back on track already. But, of course, I always gotta beat up those bad guys. Even though I should really get on track, something about beating up these guys is really satisfying. <laughs> Especially if they can react well. Booyah! Nice! Alright, got all the coins. Now let's get back on track and fight that boss. I think there's a boss coming up. Come on, malfunction, malfunction, malfunction. Urgh! All right. Bossy time, I think. Just keep swimming, just keep... Okay, that's getting annoying. Hmm. Yeah, play it safe and get up. Okay. Let's see what this guy's like. Well, I already saw that Leviathan. Maybe that's gonna be the boss. And so far, just a few more. Shouldn't be too hard, but it looks like there's going to be something way stronger here. Hey, you stupid laser bot! Mm. I can just get an execution on him. Yep, there we go! You know, I forgot how annoying these lightning rod guys are. Alright, another execution. Nice! Alright, what's not? He's kind of cool. But wait, haven't I already fought Big Axe? guys that do that whirlwind thing. So how is this guy going to be any different from those? Hmm. 
I have a feeling. Oh boy! Okay, I don't think I've seen that before. Yep, well, that didn't work. Uh, I wonder if I can grab him. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't. Wait, what's going on now? Okay, more moves to beat up. And whoa, what's that thing? Oh yeah, that's what I fought down in the water tunnel. Well, not fought, basically. Yep, there's the laser. Okay. At least they're dropping a bunch of geeties. Mostly money. Alright, jump over the laser. Gonna try it again. Come on, hammerhead, let's see what you got. More mooks. Pretty generic sword wielders. But now I have the whirlwind to deal with again. Okay, that wasn't smart. Okay, that was kind of cool. Hmm. Maybe I should save up for an uppercut double ground pound. If I can just combo him enough and get out of the way. But nope, I'm being a dildo. Okay, get out of the corner. Up, oh, he's gonna bring back his buddy again. Alright, more generic mooks, this time samurai guys. Oh boy. And I can already hear the guildmaster. Nope, nope, the guildmaster shut up. I'll play ball. Hmm. Alright. This game is kind of inconsistent with its bosses. Some can be really tough, others not so much. But I hear there's a sumo wrestler boss in this game. <laughs> you know I'm looking forward to that. That just sounds awesome. But why would they make a big sumo wrestling boss? I don't know, I always thought of sumo wrestling as kind of just being a sport. But then again, sumo wrestlers are big and imposing. There's no denying that. Why do you think I think they're so cool? Or why do you think I... I don't know about thinking sumo wrestlers themselves are cool. Just big, bulky, tanky fat furs. I don't know why, just find them awesome. And they don't even have to be anthros either. I mean, heck, the big reason I even became or found out that I liked fat furs wasn't even an anthropomorphic animal. I mean, I remember playing Dragon Ball Advance for the GBA, and I don't know why, but Booyan the Jiggler is adorable. He's kind of the reason why I became into Fat Furs, and also the idea of attacks just bouncing off these big fat guys like it doesn't hurt them. That was kind of Jiggler's thing. Basically being so fat that he's impervious to damage. And yes, I know that's a fantasy thing, but I still find the uh, whole concept charming. And I really shouldn't keep talking about that. Then again, no one's really complained about it. Not even sure if I should really bother with the moon, since that laser is going to take him out anyway. Here it comes again. You know what that thing reminds me of? Devilat's Robot, the Super 8 from Cyberbots. Yeah, it's a fighting game on this one Capcom Arcade collection they released recently. About a few months ago for the Nintendo Switch, and it eventually came to the PS4. 
So the one thing I really do not like about the whole collection... Cyberbots is the only other fighting game besides Street Fighter 2 iteration. I'm pretty sure Capcom has other fighting games besides Street Fighter 2 and Cyberbots. Like, what about Darkstalkers or Red Earth? Or even Saturday Night Slam Masters 2. But nope, the first iteration of Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, and Cyberbox. Those are the only fighting games we get. And it is kind of cool that we get at least one of their lesser known fighting games. But come on, why not Darkstalkers or Vampire Savior? I can understand not getting any of the Marvel games. That's like licensing, and now that Marvel's owned by Disney, I can only imagine how much money they'd have to shell out for those. But they own Darkstalkers. They can do whatever they want with Darkstalkers. Why couldn't we get any Darkstalkers games? Darkstalkers, Darkstalkers 2, Darkstalkers 3, Vampire Savior, but not Vampire Savior 2 because they got rid of Sasquatch for cool and John Tolbane in that one. Why get rid of the three best characters in the franchise? You know, the three actual monsters. The three that aren't just undead humans or humans with superpowers. Come on, all three of them? Ugh, no. No, just screw Vampire Savior 2. I'll stick with the first one. And what does the second one offer anyway? More speeds and three characters I don't care about? Uh, just no. But I'm ranting again. Alright. Maybe I can beat him this time. Third time seems to be the charm for me when it comes to bosses besides those bomb tanks. Why were those bomb tanks both of the ones that I fought? Why were both of them just tough as nails? Seriously, this guy is cool. But yeah, I should use those batons more often. I mean, seriously, the bomb tank at the end of the Western Range. That was way harder than Do. Do wasn't even that hard. And what about this guy? Well, he's got Mook. That's one thing Do didn't have. He didn't have any Mooks to throw at you. Maybe that's why he wasn't so hard. I mean, it makes sense that a lot of the hard bosses wouldn't be the only ones he had to fight. Okay. Of course, that thing just blasts away all the mooks, so what's the point? Well, these guys have a point. Nothing blasting away them except Shark Face there. Is it... Is shark face even? Hmm. Dang it! Keep forgetting he has that. Oh boy. Alright, I think if I can just read his attacks, use some super moves, ground pounds. Dang it, ground pound is awesome. And don't ground pound when he's doing the whirlwind. You learned that the hard way. And alternate between all your weapons. I don't know why, I like to use all three of them. Alright, he brings back the Super 8, but not before summoning more moats. Those samurai guys are kind of tough. Alright. Watch him blast all the puny samurais away. Still got flyers, though. And I really should have done an execution on them. I need some of that orange bar back. Alright, here we go. Yeah! They got some orange bar back. Got more of it back. Now I can use the tone fuzz. 
I guess that's one advantage to not having any moats. No moats to execute. So you don't get to use your items as often. Come on, one more. One more for the orange bar. I can just get to him. Come on. Yeah! Alright. One more for the orange bar. Shouldn't be too long now. Ground pound. Booyah! Alright, he's almost done. Keep on him. Finish him. Ah! Rayton wins. Fatality. Alright, it looks like I got the scuba mask now. Hmm. I have the oxygen mask. What do you think? Isn't it genius? The hexapod got away, though. Cicero will soon hear that I've infiltrated the place. We better hurry, then. Our next steps are at the underground lake and the spark. Contact me when you get to the underground lake. You know, speaking of masks that let you breathe underwater, I was just thinking about the movie Spy Kids 2 recently. There was this one scene where they had to use these valve-operated masks. And that's not what I want to talk about. But I just remember one scene where Junie gets banned or something. He gets his spy license revoked. And just today I realized that had absolutely no relevance or point to the plot. Carmen just gives it back to him. So him losing his spy license was pointless. Then again, it's a kid's movie. What do you expect? wonder if it's worth revisiting. Eh, I'm probably too old for that. I don't know why. I just wanted to get that off my chest. But yeah, now I'm digging that new underwater mask. Now, exploring the cave shouldn't be too hard, but I'll do that next time. Personally, this seems like a good place to end on. Until next time, I'm Balf, and the cave is closed.